In this video, I'm going to show you how to run logistic regression using StatCrunch and then interpret your results. Um, so the example we're going to use is the one on the left here. Um, we're going to consider um, marketing um, for a credit card division and they're going to um, try to decide who to target. Um, they're trying to get people to upgrade to their platinum card. Um, they sample 30 card holders and um, they see whether these card holders upgrade or not to the platinum card. Uh, what they also collect on data from these consumers or card holders is how much they spent in purchases in the in the year uh, on their credit card and if they have any extra credit cards attached to that account or extra cards if you will. So let's say if, if there were two people who both share the same credit card, there'd be an extra card there. So spouses, let's say. Um, so extra card is a variable that's uh, a zero or a one. Yes, being a one for yes, they have an extra card. Zero being a no, they do not have an extra card. Um, and if they have more than one extra card, we still give them a one for a yes, they have one or more extra cards. Purchases, they're in thousands of dollars. So let's say purchases of 32.1007 is really 32000 hundred dollars and seventy cents uh, and we're going to run a logistic regression to uh, make forecasts for whether or not people are going to upgrade to the platinum card if they're contacted um, so to do this in StatCrunch you go grab all your data here and actually first let's go in um, and you go through your my stat lab or your my math lab and you go into StatCrunch uh, I like to just go to the StatCrunch website right here um, and then um, just paste in your data. Type or paste your data. And then I'm going to go grab that data right here. Highlight it all, control shift down, copy it and paste it into StatCrunch here. Once you've got it in, go to Stat, Regression, Logistic, with data. We have the data in this case. And our x variables are purchases and extra cards. Those are what we're using to forecast whether or not somebody upgrades. Remember upgrade is like a yes no. So we can't use normal regression. We need to use logistic because we have just a yes no response or a zero or one response for the y. Success we're going to call a one. So yes if they upgrade it's a one. Uh, and then compute. We're not going to worry about residual analysis in this example. Uh, most important piece is just these um, these coefficients right here that uh, I'm going to hold on to. And you can just control A, select everything, copy it. Um, and then I'm just going to paste it into Excel. You don't have to, but I'm just going to put it in here, my responses. And when I paste, the nicest is to match the destination formatting right here. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, and what I really need, most important, are these three uh, numbers right here. Um, now, uh, once we're done our logistic regression, so I'm just going to move this original data over. Uh, and um, once uh, I've run this regression, um, now to do my forecasting, um, there's um, a couple steps I need to do. Um, so I've run this logistic regression. Uh, that's part A of my example here. Part B, uh, I'm going to do a forecast. Uh, so forecast the probability of um, someone upgrading. If yes, they have extra cards and they spend um, 33,000 in purchases in the year. Um, so three things I need to do. Um, I need to first take these three numbers. They're like my coefficients. I multiply them by uh, the values here. So the, th the purchases are in thousands. So 33,000 is going to become 33 times by the coefficient for purchases, which is this B26.1394 um, uh, plus coefficient for extra cards times a one for yes. Yes, they do have extra cards or an extra, at least an extra card. 
This number right here gives me the log of the odds ratio. Um, from there, I need to go get um, the exponent of that log. Um, to undo the log and actually let's be more specific it is the log it's actually the natural logarithm so we can call that lawn um, so to undo the lawn you do the exponent of it and then from there you can get your probability um, by taking that number and dividing by one plus that number And that will give you the probability of this person um, upgrading to the platinum card. This person having spent 33000 in purchases and yes, having at least an extra card in their account. I'll just comment out the formulas here. Um, so you first get your lawn of your odds ratio by plugging your numbers in. Um, with the output from StatCrunch, uh, and then take E to undo the lawn, and then to get the probability, the formula is this um, odds ratio divided by 1 plus the odds ratio. And if you will, this E to the lawn of the odds ratio actually gives you back the odds ratio. Okay, and again your probability is the odds ratio Pull, uh, divided by one plus the odds ratio. So that's my forecast. So what does this actually mean? So part C, what is the meaning of this odds ratio? So in this case, we got 60.75. That means there is a 60.75% chance. Um, forgive me, that the customer who spends 33,000 in purchases and has at least one extra card. So there's a 60.75% chance that that customer will upgrade to the platinum card in this case. So that is the meaning of what you get. That's your odds of success, whatever that is. In this case, yes, upgrading. Um, and um, Let's skip to our target market first. So what's interesting, you can play around with these numbers and see here what happens. Um, as I increase the purchases, let's say from 33 to 43,000, uh, my probability jumps way up. Um, if I increase it all the way up to 50,000 in purchases, the probability jumps very high. So your target market um, is anybody who spends a lot on purchases. Uh, and has an extra card. Uh, if you look here, two extra cards really influences things. If you take away that they have an extra card, times that by zero, it very much drops their odds. So best target market, um, and I'll reset this guy back to what it originally was. Uh, best target market uh, is customers with uh, extra cards who spend um, over, I'd say roughly even the $43,000 mark or somewhere um, in there puts you at a high probability. Um, so if you play around here even 40% and again just play a little bit you get 80% there, 80% chance of upgrading. Let's say we bump it up to 50%, you're up at 94% chance of upgrading. Um, so let's say we say customers who spend over $50,000 um, on purchases. Those guys are going to have a 94% chance of upgrading. And the higher the amount gets, um, the more likely they are to upgrade. Um, so a customer who spends over $50,000 or $50,000 has an extra card, has a 94% chance of upgrading. So target market somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, the person who spends 33000 is still likely to upgrade, but not nearly as likely as, let's say, somebody who spends more than that. Um, as for definitions for your coefficients, um, so let's start with the uh, y-intercept coefficient first. 
Um, that guy is the negative 6.93. Um, what that tells us is for a customer who spends nothing in purchases and does not have uh, any extra cards, the estimated um, natural logarithm of the odds ratio, where it's the odds of them upgrading, equals negative 6.93984. What that'll do when you take the E of that, it's going to give you a very small number. That customer is very unlikely to upgrade. Uh, next one, purchases. Let's interpret that intercept for every uh, extra $1,000 a customer spends, the natural logarithm of the odds ratio of them upgrading increases by 0.1395 roughly, holding all other variables constant. In this case, there's actually only one other variable. It is the extra cards. So the last one, extra cards. If a customer has at least one extra card attached to this account, the natural logarithm of the odds ratio is 2.774 higher than a customer who does not have any extra cards holding uh, the amount purchased constant. And that's the definition of those um, coefficients that you end up with.